Dre team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the uh, six things I hate about living in Sydney, Australia. We react to her talking about the things that she loves about living in Sydney. Now, what does she hate? Before we jump in, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, get a video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What we got? And welcome back to another video which is about Australia. This one is six things that I hate about living in Australia. So if you haven't already seen it, I have made another video and it's 15 things that I wish I knew before I moved to Australia. I'll now. link it at the top if you haven't seen it. Do go and check it out. Now, I didn't feel like I was complaining that much in this video, but a lot of the comments seem to disagree with me <laughs> pointing out that I'm a whinging pom. So, <laughs> Hey, that's just, uh, that's just how y'all do it in the UK. Know what I'm saying? That, that, that UK might have been coming out of you. <laughs> but, uh, but I think I watched that video, and I don't think she complained that much either, but uh, I guess people disagree. Disagree with me, and are pointing out that I'm a whinging pom. So, <laughs> why not give them what they want and make a video about everything I hate about living here? <laughs> Now, I don't actually have love it in Australia. It. I absolutely adore it. I have made another video and it's 10 things that I love about living in Australia. So I will link that video at the end. So do be sure to go and check that out as well. Thank you. So number one is homesickness, which I feel like everybody that moves away from their family and friends will experience at some point. Homesickness yeah. is the worst thing in the whole world. It's awful. What can you do? We're out here, we're having a great time. You talk to home as much as you can, etc., etc. You have to enjoy the experience. That is the worst thing about living. And because we've moved from England, we are literally the other side of the world. So yeah, that's crazy. It's hard to just pop back home for like a week or something. It wouldn't even be worth it if we were to go back for a week. But you can talk to home as much as you can. And like we talk to home all the time and you realize that absolutely nothing is changing while you're away. What makes it a bit easier just Number two. Yeah, homesickness, uh, I could imagine that definitely playing a big factor, especially when you move across the world. Even if you were only to move hours away, I feel like you'll get that homesickness. Kind of until you adjust to everything, uh, until you adjust to living somewhere new. You find a new group of friends, right? You find a new routine. As these things start happening, then the homesickness kind of starts to go away and uh, you adjust to, to your new life, basically. Keep it Makes it a bit easier, just... Number two for me is the summer. The summer here was so hot. Apparently Ooh. it was the hottest summer that they had on record or something, but it was Ooh. incredibly hot. So we used to go to the beach kind of first thing in the morning so we could still get out play in the water and everything before the midday sun. We used to sometimes go out for lunch around obviously 12 o'clock and you'd see people running up and down the seafront when it's like peak heat and you think, I don't know how you're doing this, like how are you not passing out, it's crazy. I suppose you adjust and you do get used to it, but for me it was too hot. Yeah, 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 and you hear that with a lot of people say that about summers in Australia, right? Uh, you got the roads melting, freaking seat belts will give you third degree birds. Uh, it's just too hot out there, bro. It's just too hot. Uh, you gotta figure out a way to, to, to stay out of that sun. That sun is deadly. Deadly. Number three is the high cost of living. So everything here is really expensive. I think apart from public transport randomly, everything's really expensive. The first thing we were shocked by when we came here and we went to get some dinner, a pepper or a capsicum, as you guys like to call it, it cost over three dollars and we thought, what the fuck? How are you justifying spending this much on vegetables? But with that being said, you do earn more money here, so it is all relative, but it's still expensive. Yeah. And I think y'all had said something about uh, it just depends on what seed. The prices change according to the seasons, according to what what veggies, what fruits grow well during those seasons. So it could be $3 at one period, could drop uh, very drastically if, if it's in season. And so I believe that's what somebody said in the comment section. More money here, so it is all relative, but it's still expensive. 
Number four is food. So although they have some incredible food, there are some foods that we don't really eat here because it's not the same as what we had in England. Mm. Um, chorizo, I used to make this amazing chicken and chorizo pasta, which is on my blog, so go and check that out if you want the recipe. Yeah, I might have to go check it out. I ain't never heard the word chorizo. That sounds like it could be good. Chicken and chorizo pasta, which is on my blog, so go and check that out if you want the recipe. It's delicious. The pasta was incredible and the chorizo is the best part of the dish. But then we came here and we brought some chorizo and it's just kind of soft and it's just like a sausage. It's not the same in mm. any way whatsoever. And I've tried cooking it in different ways and it, it just isn't the same. Chocolate yeah. isn't the same. So anytime you've had a visitor, we've asked them to bring chocolate. And also my dad and James's mum have both sent out chocolate boxes to feed our bellies. But it is quite good in a way that the chocolate isn't as enjoyable as England because we don't eat as much of it. So we kind of eat healthier. So. I think I do have to disagree on this. I haven't tried all the chocolate from both countries, but I've tried chocolate from both countries. Or, actually not both countries. Yeah, from both countries. It is. Uh, Australia's chocolate was on a, it was better to me than your, your than, than uh, UK chocolate, bro. If, yeah, if I had a choice, I definitely would go Australia on this one. Uh, yeah, so that's that. This might be the first one I disagree on, but this is the first one where I've actually tried both, and my taste buds are telling me Australia is the winner of the chocolate war. As enjoyable as England because we don't eat as much of it, so we kind of eat healthier. So, and also crisps or chips. In England, there are so many flavors and varieties of crisps, mm. but here you don't really have that many. Got you. Oh, okay, I can understand Number that. five for me is the internet. So the yeah, internet here is so bad. I read somewhere <laughs> online and it said that Kenya has better internet than Australia. Anything like Kenya, wow. Australia. Why is that one better than here? But they are introducing MBN, as somebody pointed out in the 15 things I wish I knew before moving to Australia video. MBN is still bad. I've been doing some temp work recently in, in the place that I'm working. When the kids come home from school, everything stops working. You can't get onto the internet. You can't make a call out. If people call in, you cannot hear anything they're saying. Jesus. Call it out, Australia. Yeah, I figure that's, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like there's too many videos of people complaining about the internet uh, in Australia. And I figure at some point, yeah, y'all got to get it up to speed with, I guess, most of the rest of the world's developed countries the internet uh internet is crucial internet is definitely crucial i legit can't imagine a life without wi-fi anymore i don't know how it would be i it's and it's crazy to think that but i don't know how i could survive without it at this point i don't hear anything they're saying thought it out australia and lastly, bugs. Uh, so I feel you on that. We've I, been yeah. really, really lucky. Touch wood. We haven't seen any spiders. Hey, kind of, we've seen a few spiders, a but nothing that we wouldn't have seen back home in England. Okay. We went for a walk once. We went into a bushy area and there was a big spider in a web. But we were in the woods. That's where bugs live and things. So I'm not counting yeah. that. We haven't had any in our flat. I'm really touching wood because I don't want to see any at all. We haven't seen any snakes, but these are probably just the location of where we're living, yeah. which is why there's probably not many snakes around here anyway. I don't really know. <laughs> I haven't seen any, that's all I care about. <laughs> the main problem that we get is flies. There are a crazy amount of flies, it's ridiculous. And <laughs> cockroaches. So Ooh. we have had. I can't even tell you how many cockroaches we've had in here. They've been like babies, adults. When we moved in, we didn't have fly screens and it was summer. So in the evening, when it was a bit cooler, we wanted to open the windows. You'd get these cockroaches flying in and we'd think, Jesus. close the windows. Then we got fly screens. So now we keep the windows open all the time. It doesn't stop the cockroaches coming in and I don't know how they come in. No idea. <coughs> I've pulled everything out before, hoovered everywhere. I haven't ever seen any cockroaches when I was doing that, so I don't know where they hide in the day. Don't know how they get in, but they're horrible. They just find a way. The cockroach species always finds a way. 
they, but I hate roaches too. I haven't seen a roach in a while. In a while, but I can't stand seeing those things, man. Uh, flies. I, I don't think anybody in the world likes flies. Flies just suck. If they just suck. Point blank. Period. Flies suck. So that is six things that I hate about living in Australia. Now, I don't hate living in Australia, I actually really love it. It's, it's amazing, it's been an amazing experience. But it's just a few things that I don't like. So when I lived in England, there were things that I didn't like about living in England too, so please don't give me too much hate. If there is anything that I missed off, do let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you don't like about living in Australia. And be sure to check out what I love about living in Australia as well, which I'll link at the end. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. And I hope I'll see you soon in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye. That's all we got for this one. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about uh, all the things she said she hates about Australia. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Uh, I guess you can't really disagree because that's how she feels. Uh, but that's all we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon or drop it in the comment section. It's your boy, Dina. Out.